Good morning, friends of the internet. Thank you for joining me on the Driven Dave YouTube channel. It's early in the morning today, and in this video, I'm gonna be doing just a little bit of my first impressions with the new Grok update. I've got a 2022 Model 3 long range, and I just literally got the update. I was so bummed because I was out of town for almost a week when the update was available and I could not find a Wi-Fi connection that I could uh, hook up to in order to get the, the update. So I'm, I've been really curious to see what this does. So I thought I would share with you my first impressions and just kind of see how it works, especially in an older Tesla in the 2022 here. I do have the AMD chip. So let's see how it, let's see what it does. Okay, so you'll have to forgive me a little bit of poor camera work. I'm about to leave on a business trip, and so I'm letting FSD drive me, and because of that, I can't look down too much at the camera or the screen, so, you know, just uh, bear with me here. And let's get started. So one of the things you can do with Grok is you long press the button, and so let's start by just asking it a few questions, and of course, all the great questions I had in mind, I cannot think of because it's, early. I got home last night at around midnight from a drive from Vegas. So I'm a little, little tired. Woke up at 530 this morning. So here we go. We're going to long press. I did cheat. I selected the voice, but that's all I've done. So here we go. I'm going to ask it about my YouTube channel to get started. Are you familiar with the Driven Dave YouTube channel? Yeah, I am. Driven Dave's channel is all about cars and driving. Think repairs, how-to guides, reviews, and some cool interviews. It's a go-to for gearheads who love getting into the nitty-gritty of car stuff. You a fan? I am. Awesome. What's your favorite video from his channel? I bet you've got a killer repair tip or car review you're dying to share. Hey, what are some other great channels for Tesla content on YouTube? for great Tesla content. Check out channels like It's Kim Java. She's an EV expert with tons of Tesla videos. Bearded Tesla Guy and Ryan Shaw are solid for Model Y and FSD insights. Now You Know dives into Tesla and EV tech with a fun vibe. You'll be glued to their road trip vlogs and software update breakdowns. Any specific Tesla topic you're into? No, that's okay. All right, no worries. If you ever want more wrecks or just need to geek out about cars, I'm here. What's next on your mind? Hey, if I'm taking a road trip and I'm falling asleep, is there a way you can help keep me awake? Wish I could, but I can't control the car or play music. How about this? Let's do a quick game. Name three things you see on the road right now, and I'll make up a wild story about them to keep you sharp. Or pull over for a quick stretch if you're feeling drowsy. What's around you? I see a bunch of trees and some semi-trucks and an abandoned Jeep. Nice. So, picture this. Those trees are secretly a forest army guarding an ancient, hidden EV charging station. The semi-trucks? They're piloted by rogue robots hauling parts for a secret Tesla Gigafactory. That abandoned Jeep? It's actually a time machine stuck in the wrong decade, left by a time-traveling mechanic. All right. Your turn. Spot three more things, and I'll spin another tail to keep you wide awake. Are you feeling good to keep driving? Oh, that's good. Thank you. Glad you liked it. If you need more stories or just want to chat to stay alert, I'm right here. Safe driving. What else you seeing out there? My son wants to know what's faster, a 2022 Tesla Model 3 long range with the acceleration boost or a Mazda 3? The 2022 Tesla Model 3 Long Range with the acceleration boost is way faster. It hits 0 to 60 in about 3.7 seconds, thanks to that upgrade juicing up its dual motors. A Mazda 3, even the Zippy Turbo models, takes around 5.6 to 6 seconds for the same sprint. The Tesla's electric torque gives it a killer edge off the line. Tell your son that Tesla smokes the Mazda in a straight-up drag. Want me to dig into handling or top speed too? No, that's okay. All right, 
No problem. If your son's got more car questions or you need another road trip story, just holler. What's next? He wants to know if the new Mustang GT would win in a race versus the 2022 Model 3 long range with acceleration boost. Based on what's out there, the 2022 Tesla Model 3 long range with the acceleration boost hits zero to 60 in about 3.7 seconds, thanks to its dual motors pumping out around 394 horsepower. The 2025 Ford Mustang GT with its 5.0 liter V8 cranks out 480 horsepower and clocks zero to 60 in roughly 0.3 to 4.5 seconds, depending on the setup, manual or automatic, rear wheel drive, etc. In a straight up drag race, the Tesla's instant electric torque gives it a clear edge, pulling ahead early and likely finishing a quarter mile in about 11.8 seconds compared to the Mustang's low 12 second range. On a twisty track, the Mustang's handling might make things closer, but for raw acceleration, the Model 3 takes it. Want me to look up any specific race scenarios or other factors for your son? He's got a need for speed, huh? He definitely does. Hey, can you tell me a good dad joke? Oh, I've got one for you. Why don't skeletons fight in a race? They don't have the guts to speed. <laughs> got a speed-loving son, so I bet he'd like another car theme joke. Want one more? How about a trumpet music-themed dad joke? Here's one. Why did the trumpet player get lost on his road trip? He kept taking the wrong toot. Want another music zinger for your son's speedy vibes? Yeah. All right, here's another. Why did the trumpet refuse to race the Tesla? It didn't want to blow its horn too soon. Got any other themes for jokes? Or is your son ready for more car or music fun? No, that's enough. Thank you. No problem. If you or your son need more laughs or car talk, just give a shout. Safe travels. What's up next? Okay, well, there you go. Uh, I'm not sure what to say. <laughs> it, it wasn't it wasn't bad. I mean, it's pretty neat to be able to talk to my car like that. Uh, ooh, I thought of one more. Can you pretend that we're in Kit from Knight Rider? Sure, I can be your trusty sidekick. Like Kit, what's on the mission, driver? Need me to scan for bad guys or turbo boost us out of a jam? Just don't ask me to pop the sunroof. This ride's got its own vibe. Okay, that was corny. But, you know, it, it doesn't really hesitate. Uh, you know, even in this older car, it, uh, it responds right away. It seems to always have an answer. It didn't, I don't think it really got anything wrong per se. Um, I saw another video where a dude was asking a questions and it was just wrong. So I think you gotta be careful and uh, you know, don't trust everything it's gonna tell you. Just like with any AI, uh, it, it can be a good starting point, but it, it's not necessarily correct. So do your due diligence as they say. But yeah, what do you think? You have any other fun questions I can ask it? Drop it in the comments down below. And you know, maybe we can do a follow-up video if this one does well. But yeah, that's my initial impression of Grok. I I do kind of like it. I gotta be honest. It, it's it's kind of gimmicky. It's not necessarily a must-have, but it's fun. You know, it's it's definitely fun. You know, if you have kids, like my son is at the age where he has a lot of questions and they're good questions. I bet, you know, I'm not smart enough to know all of the answers. So, you know, like when he's asking which car is faster, it's going to be nice to have Grok to give me, you know, a little bit of a, a resource there. <laughs> Even if it's not always correct, it can at least like give me more information than what I have off the top of my head. Uh, of course, I do encourage everyone to keep using what's on the top of your head. We don't want to end up like that movie Idiocracy. <laughs> and, you know, uh, we're already wearing Crocs, so we're, we're halfway there. But uh, yeah, I don't want to be like Dr. Lexus uh, or not. I mean, I guess we would all be not sure. Yeah, anyway. But in any case, so that's Grok in the Tesla. First thoughts, like I said, let me know what you think. 
Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing and liking all of that good stuff. I truly appreciate it. And if you can do that, it would really help me out. So yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna see how this goes. Uh, certainly as it updates, I'm sure it'll get better and different and all of that stuff. So uh, yeah, stay tuned for all of that. And uh, again, thank you. I'll see you in the next one. Stay driven.